hey hi friends so welcome back to my youtube channel so this video is about uh, programming stm 8s103 microcontroller i'm going to walk you through the ide setup compiler setup and the minimum hardware configuration requirement for this uh, programming so let's uh, download the ide first link is there in the description uh, you will need to provide your email id during download to register so i pasted my link it's opening now we are in the ide download page clear yeah here click uh, get latest option you will need to accept this now you can provide any dummy name here i'm providing test name uh, last name is not needed but email id should be very correct because you are going to receive the download link in your email now we are ready to click download button you can enable newsletter if you want i clicked the download it's registered now i am supposed to get the link in my inbox i'm opening my mailbox so i received my uh, download link you can see the download now button you need to click this one and it will direct you to the download page uh, let me click this one so in this new web page you need to scroll down and uh, click this get latest button again this will download a zip file which will include the exe Next we will download a Cospic C compiler, link is there in the description, open that link and provide all the required fields. Uh, you can uh, provide dummy values, uh, once uh, all the fields are filled click uh, submit button and uh, this will take you to a download page and there one download link will be there. Uh, click that download link and the Cosmic uh, C compiler ex will be downloaded. I have already done this. Now I am ready with the Cosmic Compiler and uh, IDE. Extract the IDE zip file and uh, double click and install the exe. so our id installation is done next uh, we will install cosmic c compiler double click the exe and uh, complete the installation now we will complete the installation click next provide a dummy company name here uh, username can be your email id company name provide any dummy name uh, now you will see a couple of uh, dialog boxes so you can click yes until all the boxes are closed in this way you need to uh, enable the register option and click next click ok you can close this now we are ready for registration that is uh, the way to get the license give a, a dummy username a dummy company name email id should be proper because the license will be sent to your email id once all the details are filled click on the web option it will take you to the uh, registration web page here email will be already filled just uh, fill in the captcha 
and click submit button now li license is sent on your mail uh, you can check your uh, email and uh, download the license file okay license file is downloaded now we will close this installation click ok click finish and uh, now we can copy this license file to c drive cosmic c folder copy this uh, license file open c drive program files x86 folder cosmic folder then FSE compilers folder and CXSTM8 folder then you will see license folder here you need to paste and replace this already existing license file this folder path is given in a description you can copy paste from there now license is ready we can close this uh, uh, folder now now we will be able to see id shortcut and uh, programmer shortcut in desktop ok id is open now go to file and click uh, new workspace first we need to create a new workspace inside that we will create project so click create workspace click ok now give a workspace name location also you can provide now we are ready to create our project we can provide the project location give a project name now expand this uh, tool chain option and uh, select uh, stm 8 cosmic that is the tool chain we are going to use uh, tool chain location you can make sure it is pointing to cx stm8 folder uh, you need to go to c drive program files x86 cosmic folder then fsc compilers folder then you will see cxstm8 folder click that if it is not already set click that and set it otherwise you are fine to click ok now we need to select a correct microcontroller from this list which we are going to program so go through this list and find out your correct microcontroller serial number in my case i am going to use stm8s103f3p you can search it in this search bar it will correctly point to your proper microcontroller so i am going to use 103 3p i selected it now click select also after selecting in the list ok now click ok ok our project is ready you can see the subfolders and all created c file and interrupt vector table file these two files are created by default
so before starting our first program we need to download some library files I have provided the link in description I will show you how to download them open the link and this will lead to a github page we need to download this enter code as zip mainly we need this uh, src folder and inc folder i am going to download the folder zip file here full zip code When the download is complete, copy that zip file to some other location and extract it from there. Then you will get the src folder and inc folder. open this one so you can see inc folder and src folder inc will have dot h files and src will have dot uh, c files uh, when you need some peripheral uh, you can include that library by including that particular dot h file Now let's add uh, in, uh, library files to folder. Uh, right click on this uh, include files. And select add files to folder. Here go to that uh, inc folder which we extracted earlier. And uh, you, you can select uh, that particular file which you want but for reasons I am selecting all the files and click OK and uh, when you open this folder you will see all the peripheral libraries copied here now next we need to add .c files to source files folder right click on source files folder and select add files to folder and go to src folder and select all dot c files and click open you will see all the dot c files added in source files folder here we don't have to copy all dot c and dot h files as i mentioned earlier we can be selective we can select only dot c and dot h file which we need in our project Before coding, we will discuss the minimum circuit required for flashing in the microcontroller. Here you can see only two pins are required for flashing, SWIM and ground pin. Just connect to these two pins uh, between your microcontroller board and uh, STLink V2 programmer and you are ready for flashing. Now we are ready to write our code. I am going to write a simple LED blink example. For that we need to include a GPIO library. So include hash include stm8s underscore gpio dot h. So our coding part is done. Now I'll compile the code. Uh, it's compiled. There is no error. Now we will open ST Programmer and uh, uh, we'll flash the code. Search for ST Visual Programmer and open that. In the Programmer application go to file and click open 
and uh, go inside your workspace directory and uh, look for a folder called debug this will be uh, a part of your project debug folder and inside that you will see .s19 uh, file uh, a file with the .s19 extension and open this file this is the binary of your file your project uh, now you are ready to flash you can click that flash button 